What's happening, fellow Bloom Poppin' Maniacs? It's Boom Gun here, back with another Bloom's TD Battles 2 video. And we are rocking some new strategies now in the new season. I've been doing a little bit of Sub Ice Cannon. And let's go ahead and look at what I got unlocked so far. If you guys are liking the new season, uh, go ahead and drop a like. Drop a comment. Let me know what strategies you guys are trying. And if you aren't already subscribed, it'd be cool for you to subscribe. Uh, oh, and we'll get an Energizer this game, so that's cool. I, I want to get that and try out the Reduces Cooldown ability. And also the Heroes Earn 50% XP. I kind of want to try like a, a hero buff strategy. Like maybe sub village, I don't know, like tax shooter or some sort of something. Tax shooter obviously wouldn't buff the hero, but it would kind of allow me to go later game. So looks like we got Mayan. Very nice. We are going up against Sniper is OP. I do agree, but in this upcoming patch, it will be not as OP. So that's that should be nice. All righty. DDTs are large, and they are dangerous. If you just get late, even if you don't think you can win, and the, def the opponent's trying to defend your bad, just sell everything and send as many DDTs as you can, unless there's a triple XL trap. <laughs> if there's a triple XL trap, you cannot send DDTs. But maybe there's a way to... Fill the trap, but I don't feel like there is. Like, say if you sent a, a bad, and then it broke, and then you layered DDTs on top, but I don't think so. I really do think Heli NG Dartling is going to be insane next patch. I don't think they nerfed Dartling nearly enough. I think just changing the laser shock doesn't really matter. I really don't think it does. Because, like... A lot of people don't even get laser shock. A lot of people just drop a dartling down and go 030 and it just defends. Like laser shock real like yeah, laser shock makes it so you can't really do regen rushes. So it hurts the mid game. But if you just use dartling early game and then you use something else mid game, it's just still going to be just as good. So I don't know. Especially if you pair once you pair it up with ice, uh the two pathway next patch is going to be able to remove camo and region. So that'll basically be a laser shock almost in its own right, like an AOE laser shock. Kind of. Kind of in a way. So one thing with this strategy that's kind of annoying compared to other strategies is... We do have the ice and the cannon. So we do have white, uh, white balloons that hurt the ice and then black balloons that hurt the cannon. And then zebras that hurt both of them. And it's the, other than purples, the wizard. It's pretty much the only towers that have immunities. So I think we're gonna go with that and drop down one more sub. We're gonna go barb darts. I think we're going to boost here. He boosted as well, so very very nice early boost by me there. Very good timing. And I'm not planning on going super late, so it's okay to get these boosts and use them. It is no problem with me. I'm going to go ahead and save up for the air burst darts here. Nice. And then we get heat tip darts because I've got the ice so that it can pop the frozen balloons. Very nice, very nice. And then I'm going to get deep freeze, because deep freeze, when I freeze multiple, it will allow my heat tip darts to pop them and then stay frozen. So that's a good little combo there. Now I'm going to get my bomb tower up a little bit. And I just keep sending blues, because I really want to defend early. That's kind of my strategy. So 
We got up the early Clusty Bums, Clusty Busty, as some of y'all's favorite YouTuber, BTD YouTuber says, good old Clusty Busty. And I like going zero two three. It's really good. Balloon popping power. There's a lot of good damage. But for now, I think I'm just going to go 003 and probably go for my reactor. Very good, very good. Hope you all are having a great week so far. I'm sure a lot of people here going back to school soon, having some new classes, meeting some new people. Hope you all have a great time. School is definitely a time to not really like it's fun to play Bloom CD battles, but kind of pay attention, class a little bit. Don't just be battling all day, even though back when I was in school, I was kind of pretty much doing the same thing. <laughs> it is what it is. As long as you get your homework done, that's basically how I look at it. Like you can, oh shoot, it's round 12. I was not paying attention. Oh my gosh, am I dead? I was talking away about school. Maybe, maybe you know what? Screw school. <laughs> If anything, I'm trying to I'm trying to talk good about school, and holy cow, school about just made me lose the game. So, on second thought, guys, yeah, never mind. Do not. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Obviously, <laughs> that's funny though. All right, what are the chances this guy's playing as sniper? What are the chances he's rocking? He's not dropped his hero down, which is very interesting. He's not dropped down a second or a third tower. I'm going to kind of drop down some towers, make this guy think I don't really know what I'm doing. Just kind of drop some stuff down. And I'm being strategic with it, but I don't think he'll think I'm strategic. <laughs> Strategically unstrategic is my strategery. <laughs> Alrighty. I've honestly been having a... Like, I haven't really been playing... Oh, Spike Factory, nice. Oh, I also forgot to mention, this is I've been rocking the computer instead of mobile recently, so I've been kind of getting used to the hotkeys and stuff. It is very interesting. Don't really lag, but I still don't go late game. I'm still trying to get my towers leveled up. This guy's ecoing really hard. He, I'm going to round 19 rush him. We'll see if we get the W. Would be very cool if we do. If he rocket storms, spike, uh, spike storms, combos that or does one or the other, he might be able to defend. But I'm assuming this guy isn't going to be able to react in time, and he's sending yellows and whites so much. So, and I, I think he might send me a Moab here. We'll see. I'll probably go ballistic missiles and get some O oh, three O's. For my boom, bomb shooters. Oh, yep. It looks like he's sending. So I'm going to go ballistic. He, it, it stopped ecoing. So that's how you know he sent. So let's get up with two of those. Let's get up another one. Let's get up an Arctic Wind. I think we're good there. I think I boost as well. Just might as well. Just might as well boost. All right. It's round 19 now. And now I'm going to all out him. So he's not ready for this, and we are going to start sending. This is such an insane rush. So I've got 5K now. Now I'm going to send region rainbows behind it, and then purples behind that, and boost it. There's oh, they're not fortified. Oh shoot! There's no way. There's no way I win now. I meant to send fortified. Oh my gosh! I had clicked fortified. What the French toast? Um. Well. Maybe we can all out now. Oh, what the heck? That's so upsetting. Can he defend? I don't know if he can defend this. So I'm just going to send it. Man, I had I thought I had clicked fortified, but apparently I had not. That is so rough. Does he just easily defend this? He might. So I think we just sell, and then we send fortified mobs behind it. Okay, he's hydro rocket storming. Very nice. So now we sell, we sell, we sell, and now we send these, and we boost. 
I think he still wins. Maybe this will go through. It's going to be very close. Oh, it looks like we're going to get the dub. See, the Fortified Moabs. See, if I would have sent Fortified Moabs the first game, does he get the Rocket Storm dub? Oh, let's go. Let's go. So a lot of the times, I'll just round 19. If it doesn't work, I'll sell or I'll just surrender. But since I'm doing the video, I wanted to try, see how it goes, see if the guy would choke. We got him to do the Rocket Storm on the Fortified BFB. So that allowed us to send more on top of it and him not have the rocket storm. He did micro. He almost got it up. He did rocket storm and it just wasn't quite enough. So sometimes you just got to try rushes like that. And like we're up at 55. It's not crazy, but in the new season, it's, it's kind of high. Like we're, you're playing pretty good people. <laughs> like you're, like you're playing against meta strategies every single game almost. So with rocking the sub ice bomb, it's definitely nice to get the win. Using two towers that have early immunities, like round five, round six, definitely hurts us. But it is very cool rocking the, the different strategies. I'm honestly really excited to get everything mastered so that I can actually start trying strategies. Because you guys, I don't know, you guys are probably new, but my strategies are to get everything mastered and then go for new towers because like you can see i only have a thousand xp there like any of my master towers six thousand ten thousand five thousand like the xp has just been from boxes so i don't have anything over ten thousand my ninja i had ten thousand on and that was one of the first towers i mastered so I, funny thing with ninja and for, for me is very first patch everyone's running tack uh, attack out sub everybody and i was using uh i think it was sniper ninja spike factory and I, my ninja was my starting tower so i was getting a bunch of xp and i had farmed all the way up to like i can't remember when the new patch came out when they nerfed attack and people started like figuring out uh, attack ninja sniper was good and also Ninja Sniper Dartling ended up being good, but before then, like I was, I, I was doing an off-meta strategy, and it just become end up becoming the meta. So that is how the nature of the game goes. Towers that aren't strong get buffed, and then towers that are strong get nerfed. So it's kind of the nature of the beast for you to play an off-meta strategy and it become meta. But I do enjoy breaking the meta, playing different strategies, doing stuff people don't expect. Because like rushes like this, I you can do them with such such success, even at high ratings. I know I only got up to ZUMG Superdome, but I think if I would have played on the computer and really tried and pushed, I think with Heli, NG, Dartling, I think for sure I would have hit ZUMG Superdome. I wouldn't even have needed uh, the meta strategy. I could have literally done NG, Heli, Dartling, and if I would have tried on the PC and not played on the phone, and not gone up against because at 92 93 i was literally going up against people lagging me out because i was on the mobile device so i was i had no shot against those people and maybe on my computer since i had a good computer it could handle it or something i don't know but yeah so that that's my little rant if you guys are here listening to this i'd be absolutely amazed i don't think anyone's probably here but i'm enjoying doing these little youtube videos i'm just gonna keep doing it and if you guys are enjoying it, and if you are here, definitely hit that subscribe button. Would mean a lot. Drop a comment. Let me know you're enjoying it. Let me know what strategy you would like to see a video on. And especially if it's not mastered, I'll do it. And all right, y'all have a great day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.